Moving on, the ties between South Korea and Mongolia seem to have become stronger than ever, especially following President Bakane's recent visit to Ulaanbaatar. And to explore how deep the bilateral relations goes, our Song ji sat down with Pusan Mangjin Ocherbat, the first leader of that country. The ex-president shared his vision for the two sides and even offered a piece of advice to Pyongyang. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Pusan Mangjin Ocherbat. He is the first president after Mongolia shifted to capitalism and democracy in the 1990s. He is also the woman who established diplomatic ties with South Korea. How would you rate the ties between South Korea and Mongolia after 26 years of diplomatic relations? Solongsing, Technic, Tehen Log, Otagarra, Teget, Otto Mongol Solongo Sawyer, Harit Sangashta, Team, Otto Hamteng is Rane, Wishatro, Shilch, Team Shard Logan, Team Sakotsa, Achatirin, Bossumbai, Nuxed White Lodurin, Sahangaksung, Mana Mongolin. When looking back, Mongolia established great economic development after transition into democracy and capitalism over the past three decades. What message do you think this can convey to Pyongyang and what ideas or suggestions do you have for the Pyongyang government? Тэгээд <laughs> Атаават тэгээд хөгжиээ гэж би Thank you so much for sharing your insights on North Korea and setting the vision for future relations of Mongolia and South Korea. And we also appreciate your initiative for the unification on the Korean Peninsula here in Mongolia. Mr. Punsan Magin Otirvat, former president of Mongolia.